Legion's Goodbye channel, where we do reviews of sneakers, toys, and in the future, music, movies, and food as well. Thank you to all that watched, liked, and subscribed after my very first video on the uh, New Balance X90. Really appreciate it. And today we have a review for you on the Adidas Boost You Wear Level 2. This is a very polarizing sneaker. It's either you like it or you hate it. Aww. And I think the vast majority hate the sneaker because these have been sitting on shelves for the last two, three months now. I personally like the sneaker. I think it's a, it's a great sneaker. It's great value for money. And uh, these were actually, um, these really caught my attention when they were featured on my uh, favorite sneaker YouTuber's channel, Mr. Carlo Ople. And in that uh, review, he anointed these as the Baymax sneakers. <laughs> <laughs> now, why are, we, uh, why are we reviewing this today on the uh, Goodbye channel? Well, fortunately, about a month ago, these actually went on 25% off on a store here in the Philippines called Capital PH and these were initially selling for 8,000 pesos I was able to cop them for just 6,000 using the 25% off uh, offer that they had and I even got a free sneaker cleaning voucher for it so uh, how much was saved on the purchase of these sneakers about 2,300 when you put that all together uh, I believe these sneakers are great value because despite being white, um, I really feel that these will age really well. If these get a bit dirty and the, the soles start to yellow, I think it'll even add a little bit more character to these shoes. Now a little bit of history on these pair of shoes right here. These actually uh, are an offshoot of a line of shoes that Adidas actually came up with. In the 90s it was the feet you wear um, line and this was a line of footwear that was endorsed by a lot of basketball players including mr. Kobe Bryant yes kids uh, in the 90s Kobe Bryant used to rock Adidas so for, for those of you that d didn't know now you do um, the uh, the it was called the feet you wear because the soles were molded to mimic the balls of your feet. So that, that being said, uh, it was expected that they would be very comfortable and very uh, maneuverable. Um, and that's how they were marketed. Now, fast forward to 2018, uh, Kanye West actually came out with the Yeezy 500. Now, that shoe was not a basketball shoe, it was, more a, a, it was more of a lifestyle shoe, but it actually used or repurposed a midsole that was used on the Kobe 3, if I'm not mistaken. Now, that said, it kind of uh, triggered that, uh, that, uh, that revival of the feet you wear look, and they came out with this silhouette that actually used Boost the Yeezy 500 did not have boost in it they were very comfortable uh, I had a pair of those and uh, they were very comfortable but I think this trumps that because again you get for all intents and purposes a full uh, full length boost there is a gap here that separates the forefoot from the heel but uh, when you put them on you don't really feel the the missing boost here in the middle uh, you get the support that you need on the heel with a uh, you know, very thick boost right here. And in the forefoot, uh, the, the boost is just absolutely perfect, right? Uh, you get supports here on the side that give you a lot of uh, stability. Um, I wouldn't play basketball in these shoes, but just for walking around, these are awfully comfortable and they give yeah. a lot of support. Earlier this year, they came out with the Boost You Wear Level 1. Uh, it was a slightly different midsole. Uh, didn't have the supports here on the sides. But uh, I'm going to put some, uh, some of the original colorways over here so that everyone can see them. 
and that is the level one. These actually are the level two or like the version two of those sneakers. And it initially came out in white and black. Show a pair of the black sneakers here. And there was just a very recent colorway that they released. Um, they called it Trace Maroon, but I like to call it the Red Velvet colorway. So you'll see it right there. And also there are two variants of this that will, you know, later this year be coming out as a collab. And uh, one's gonna be from uh, uh, a label, I, be, I believe based in the UK called Bristol. See it right here. Those are a very nice pair, but I'm expecting that to be way over $200. So kind of out of my range for the exact same shoe, but there you go, if you'd uh, like to wait for that. There's also a uh, collaboration with Pharrell Williams that will also come out very colorful, very eye-catching. Um, that's gonna be, that's actually a boost you wear level one, but I'm sure it's gonna be a neck breaker given the colorway that uh, that will come out in. As for fit, well, as I flash the uh, on foot video here, the uh, these shoes actually fit big. I got these in a size eight. I typically wear a size nine in Adidas and I had the chance to try size nine, eight and a half and eight and really had to settle on eight because that was what was most comfortable for me. Uh, I'm gonna put a, uh, a, a picture of the comparison between a size nine New Balance X90 and this and you'll see lengthwise, uh, it's basically the same. That's how sizing is sometimes, it's, it's just funny and there's no substitute to actually going out to the store trying the shoes on and making a decision uh, then and there. I'm gonna go ahead and post a uh, picture right now of these shoes with no laces because I know quite a few are asking how they would lose, how, how they would actually look without laces. And look at it here. So thank you for watching. Uh, please click and subscribe to help me deliver more content for you. Hit the notification button if you want to be alerted when I have uh, new videos coming out. I hope you like the review. See you on the next goodbye video. Thank mm -hmm. you.